Hello, welcome to gagrule.net. This is Gagrule live on Facebook. My name is Wally Sarkisian. I'm your host today, and we have uh, Heg Boyajian, the man that his one leg is in Los Angeles, one leg is in Yerevan. You never know which which leg is where. So, Heg, welcome. We'll, uh, we warmly welcome you back. Thanks for having me, Wally. I know these days both legs are planted in in LA, <laughs> yes. unfortunately, because I was supposed to go to Armenia in April, but because of the pandemic, it doesn't look like I'll be going there for another year. So it's, yeah, for now I'm grounded in Los Angeles. Yeah, trust me, I, I uh, this, uh, this month, I'm always out someplace there, you know, but this year yeah. we are home grounded. Uh, yeah, okay, so here is a little bit like we when we were in there, some stuff. This is the girl I was talking about. All right, so that little intro, so that wow. people, so to prove to you, I was there, you know. <laughs> I remember you being there. <laughs> yeah. That was a magical day. I know, so. it, it was a fun day. I really liked it. I was, so that, maybe we should tell the viewers what that was. Um, yeah. So. As Wally said, my name is Haig Boyaja, and I, I'm the Senior Director of Development over at Children of Armenia Fund, Co-Off. And uh, that amazing footage that Wally has is from the opening of our Smart Center up in the Lori region of Armenia in May of 2017. And Wally happened to be in Armenia at that time, and, um, and uh, we were so lucky to have you, and you know, thank you for covering that a magical day. Uh, we appreciate it and all the support you've given to Co-op. It was a really magical day. It was amazing. Middle of this nowhere, this yeah. this uh, high technology things right in there. It was just like a Switzerland. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, when you say the middle of nowhere, that's kind of that's that's the mission of Co-op. Really, is um, rural development and giving children, mostly children, but also adults, opportunities for advancement in these isolated region, uh, rural regions of Armenia where there's even more limited access to basic things like modern education and healthcare and social services. Um, but yeah, so that's that's exactly what it was in, in the region of Lori. Um, that you're showing right now is photos that Lucine Sahakian, Dr. Sahakian, from our co-op team in Yerevan doing COVID outreach assistance out in our villages over the last couple of months. That's another one with Dr. Lucine Antonia from our Yerevan office. All right, so we're going to show a little video uh, about those villages. And let's see, where is it? There, there where it is. We now learn in a relaxed, safe, and encouraging atmosphere, which can make a young student feel confident enough to share their voice. As an access teacher, I try to create a similar platform during my classes, allowing kids to have the freedom of expression, to voice their opinion, because this is the core of the learning process. The most important thing for me was having an opportunity to change and share my experience with others, with kids who also desire changes, who wish to have the tools to do more. It's incredible, state-of-the-art technology in the Lori region, surrounded with these beautiful mountains. It's just incredible. I mean, you, I even asked uh, if I could build a house there and go live there. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. We'll yeah. be neighbors. Yeah. That's where I'm going to end up. How much, how much time you spend there? At the, uh, so I did, well, you know, I lived there full-time for four years. I'm, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles, but I 
I moved to Armenia in the summer of 2011, and I lived there for four years full time. And then um, I've been going back and forth ever since. And as of last year, I was living out in Yerevan for six months and then six months in L.A. Um, so all that kind of changed, obviously, this year with the pandemic. But, yeah, that's the plan. I know a lot of people are envious because I get the best of both worlds. I get to live in, you know, Armenia and uh, and the States. But, yeah, I miss it. Now, now tell me this about uh, this event you're having this Saturday. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about that? Definitely. So it's our 10th year anniversary. So we have the summer soiree every year, which is an event held in New York. And obviously all fundraisers, not just co-op, have been impacted this year because you can't get together in large groups at any venues. And so we're switching to virtual mode. So basically the soiree, which is this Saturday on the 15th, uh, is going to be virtual. There's a website on there, www.coffsoiree.org, where viewers could go and register. It's free. You go in and you see the program. But most importantly, we're raising funds for COVID relief in Armenia. There's a lot going on in the world now with Beirut and, you know, just this has been one hell of a year. Uh, but we've got a major issue in Armenia with the COVID uh, outbreaks and the rates of infection. And we are basically over the last couple of months, because of all, the, all the schools have been closed, the Smart Center has been closed in Armenia because of the pandemic. So we have shifted our, um, our work into a more humanitarian crisis mode by you know, supporting the health infrastructures in our villages and uh, also the most socially vulnerable families in our villages. So that's what this uh, Diamond Anniversary Soiree is all about. It's raising money because you know, there's so much unpredicted. You know, we don't know what's going to happen in the fall and the winter. If there's another wave of infections in Armenia and obviously worldwide. But we want to make sure that our villages are safe. Uh, and uh, the only way we can do that is by, you know, bolstering the health infrastructure in our villages. Wonderful. Now, now you have. So, so yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. So the events at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which would be 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, you have to register at that site for free, and it's going to be about an hour long. Uh, and there's some great, great components to the program that you can talk about whenever you'd like to. But I think you had a question. Yes, I want to know. Like, uh, though, I'm going to show some of those people who is attending. Like, uh... Araxia. So Araxia Karapetian is very dear to call off and so many others. You all know her. She's on TV. Um, Good Day LA, Fox uh, 11 here in Los Angeles. And uh, Araxia is a very dear friend. You know, many people will know that she's born in Germany and, and, and moved to the States when she was really young, I think at age six or seven. And, um, you know, we reached out to her last year and she was so gracious. And she came out to New York and hosted our gala in December. And so that's when we first established the relationship with her. And she's been a very strong supporter. And even, you know, she. The minute we reached out to her about the soiree, she said she'd be, she's going to be more than happy to host it. And I'm I'm co-hosting with her, and I don't know how to host anything, to be honest with you. So I'm going to be her sidekick that night, giving her a hard time. But we love Araxia, and um, we're so, so grateful for What do you mean you don't know how to host it? You hosted so many places, Arpa Film Festival, other places. So, you know. I do cameos. I do cameos, but I've never actually hosted an entire program on camera, yeah. but... Anyways, yeah. well, I, I had the privilege to interview him for five minutes uh, in, uh, I think was ANC event was grassroots something. So I, I said, well, you're Fox News that you guys only Republican says, no, 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 no. We don't talk about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's yeah. amazing. Yeah. She's adorable. Yeah, she is. Yeah, All I right. Like to have her part of the co uh, family. So we have another one here. Who is she? That is Mary Basmajian. She's the LA-based comedian, funny girl. Very popular, very, very popular, especially with the younger generation, I would say all across the board. I mean, she's really made a name for herself worldwide. Uh, she's hilarious. Um, Mary is also, you know, I've got so much respect for Mary because she stands up for so many social issues. Um, she's always vocal. She uses her platform for change, for awareness. 
Um, and I had a lovely uh, chat interview with her on our co-op Insta Live um, series a couple of, I think a month ago. And um, she's amazing. Every time I've reached out to her for anything, she's always, uh, she's always there to help. And I know that she genuinely cares about our kids in Armenia. And so expect a very funny sketch uh, from uh, Mary, who goes by Bartush. So, so are you going to have like each one of them has his own virtual coming in? Yeah, so it's, it's a combination. So a lot of these, um, Araxia and myself will be live uh, here in Los Angeles, but every other component to the program has been pre-recorded. So Mary is going to have a, you know, she, we've already got it and uh, her performance as well as uh, the others. So, yeah. And then we've got some footage of some, uh, obviously some footage of uh, Armenia and our COVID response in Armenia, as well as some child musicians that have done some special performances for us. So that's all going to be, that portion is all pre-recorded. And also we have this one. Sebu Simonia is also another class act. Um, you know, I've known Sebu for maybe 20 years. Um, and I remember as, you know, I used, to, I used to have his CDs when he had this band called Ayo. And, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for people like Sebu. You know, when you cross over into the mainstream, that you are true to your roots um, and you really, really go out of your way to raise awareness. Um, you know, Sebu's amazing, I'm so talented. Uh, we reached out to him last year. He happened to be in Armenia with his family. And he took the time to travel to Lori, to the Kof Smart Center, and he met with the kids, toured the whole center, and performed for the kids, and saw firsthand the work that we were doing. And, um, you know, he's just, he's amazing. And I have to say, he's got an amazing performance uh, with VR, AR. Like, he really went out of his way for this performance with the soiree, so it's going to definitely be a showstopper. He's, he has, like, uh, weekly or daily shows, or he just... Well, Seb was part of the band uh, oh. Capital Cities, uh, and um, yeah, so he's one of the members of the band Capital Cities, and you know he tours under normal circumstances. He's got a couple of albums out with his band. Um, you know, he's just phenomenal. I mean, he's such a powerful voice. Uh, so I think viewers are going to be really, really uh, blown away by his performance. How long he's going to talk or do something? It's just a performance. It's a musical main line. It's our headline performance musical. Oh, okay. So it's a it's a performance that he recorded again with AR VR technology. It's amazing, specifically for the soiree. Um, but Sebu is amazing. I mean, Sebu, I remember um, last year for Independence Day in Armenia, he did a live concert in Gyumri. Um, oh. He was the main act, the main, main headliner. So I mean, he's always there. You know, he's always throwing his support and he's a father and he's got a lovely wife, Tamad, and they're just dear, dear supporters of Co-op. You live in Yerevan? No, Sebu lives in LA, but I think he's of the camp that is actually considering spending some uh, longer periods of time in Armenia, but I'm not going to talk on his behalf, but I know that, um, I know that he loves Armenia. Um, his parents are there frequently and live, live there, uh, for quite a significant time out of the year, so he's, yeah. So here is another one. Yes. So Sona Movsesyan is also part of the program and did an amazing job. You guys will all see it Saturday. For those of you that don't know, but I think everybody knows her because she's a big uh, media TV personality. Sona Movsesyan is the assistant to Conan O'Brien. And- uh, Oh. She's yeah. Conan O'Brien's assistant, so she's got her own podcast as well. And Sona has a sweetheart. We reached out to her, uh, you know, and she is. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna reveal too much about the show, but Sona has been a very dear supporter. You know, you call Sona, it's like anything you guys need, anything for the kids. Literally, those are her words. And um, she was very supportive a couple of years ago when she and Conan went to Armenia uh, together for one of the shows. Um, you know, they got back and we reached out to Sona and she and Conan did a video uh, greeting and we opened one of our galas in New York with that uh, opening message from Conan and, and Sona. So she's a doll as well. We're very lucky. 
Wally. We're, we've got so much support by so many of these amazing people. Um, and, and we never take it for granted because it's always a choice, you know, what to do with your uh, your fame and, and your persona and whatnot. So we're so appreciative to have these people around us that genuinely, genuinely care about our mission and want to make a difference in the lives of our kids. Wow, that's great. All right, so this is going to be Saturday. What time? So this Saturday on the 15th, 6 p.m. here on the West Coast and 9 p.m. on the East Coast. And again, uh, your viewers will see it's very easy. You just go to www.coffsoiree.org. You register. It's a very easy process. And then you will receive a link letting you know where to go the day off. And you just watch the program. And there will be a pledge going on. So people have the option of donating uh, during the program, or they can simply just learn about co-op uh, during the program. Uh, for those that, for whatever reason, can't join, you can always visit our website and uh, to learn more about our organization and to lend your support. And our website is www.coafkids.org. Uh, so that's you know coafkids.org to learn more about the organization. But I mean, the more the merrier. We'd love to have you all for the soiree. We are seriously concerned about uh, this pandemic in Armenia and in rural Armenia, and we need to do everything we can to keep our kids safe. So everybody's help and support is appreciated. Even sharing it on your social media and just getting the word out about this event would be super, super helpful. Is uh, the Garu Armin, is that the right name? Yes, Garu is, Armin's our founder. Is he gonna be on that or? Yes, Garo is going to have a, a, a recorded segment with opening remarks and thanking people for their support. Yeah. Uh, he's based in New York. So from a technical standpoint, you know, we decided to go West Coast this year, but he'll definitely have a segment in the program. He's our he's our fearless leader, of yeah. course. Yeah. And when I interviewed them there on uh, Kowaf side and I said, how did this happen? And he just said, I just dreamed and dream come true <laughs> you know i mean he's definitely a visionary and it's all about these things you know while he, everything is a choice that you make you know um he had the power and the ability to make a change in armenia and his passion was always the rural countryside that was neglected and you know he did what he's doing and there's a lot of people that are doing great things in armenia and around the world and all those people have a choice and it's a choice that you make. You know, when you reached out to me today, when you learned about the soiree and said, hi, you know, would you want to do an interview? I'd like to support this event and your cause. That's a choice that you made. You know, it's it's always a choice to support, to get involved. And like, I've got tremendous respect for him um, for making that decision, because believe it or not, like the man is super, super busy and, you know, uh, adding co-op and everything else really, really uh, impacts him. So, you know, hats off to him. You know, we just had a couple of days ago, Peter Abadjian. I mean, yes. he's, he's amazing guy. He's like 724. He's like you too. Like he's just, uh, all he does, you know, build those villages in on uh, frontier yeah. borders and like amazing. Peter's great. Um, Peter's great. You know, we've had a very good relationship with the Paros Foundation, which he represents. And we've actually partnered together a couple of years ago in one of our villages, Hatsig. The name of the village was Hatsig in the arm of your region, where we renovated a school. And, you know, Paros came in with a lot of diaspora volunteers one summer and they renovated um, yeah. <laughs> five or six or seven classrooms in one wing of the school. Um, and, um, yeah, and like I said, you know, it's a team effort and there's so many good people doing so many good things and partnerships like that are critical in getting work done. Yeah. And, um, you know, so there's so many amazing projects going on in Armenia. Yeah, it's amazing how much diaspora people are involved in many ways. Every time I go there, I find one or two, something that I never heard of it, you know. So that's yeah. why sometimes I try to bring them people attention, you know. Hey, there's lots of people doing things. How about you do, doing something, you know? Oh, so, I think we all appreciate that you, yeah. you know, give us that visibility. Yeah. 
All right. So anything else you have to say beside don't forget tomorrow, um, Saturday, join in that virtual uh, uh, soiree. Soiree. Yes. Yeah, I'm even more elegant now. Soiree. Yeah. Um, again, 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 I just want to thank uh, everybody that supported us throughout the years. I want to support. I want to thank everybody that supported us specifically with this event um, and realizes the need for uh, COVID assistance in, in, in rural Armenia. Um, you know, there's a lot that needs to be done in preparation so that we don't wait for a complete crisis. And, you know, I thank everybody. Join us, join Araxia, myself, um, you know, Sona Mostestian, Mary Basmajan, Sebu Simonian. Learn about our organization, visit our website, um, and join us in our vision. And, you know, I just want to thank everybody. So please join us. Again, the website for the actual soiree is www.coffsoiree.org. And, um, you can very easily find me if uh, you ever want to connect and want to learn more about your nation individually. So and I thank everybody. Uh, we've done a lot of fun stuff, diamond raffles and things like that since it's, it's our diamond anniversary. So join us uh, and uh, a heartfelt gratitude for, for everybody's support. And thank you for having me, Wally. Thank you, Hig. You're, you're a great man. I really appreciate all the work you do and most Armenians do. So uh, thank you. Okay, so uh, well, for our viewers, thank you for watching. And please, uh, as Haig said, go there Saturday and join and see if you could help. You know, those, are, those children really need your help. And uh, they're, they're not Armenia. It's, it's a poor country, you know, no matter how you see it. It's a nice country, but it's poor and everybody needs help. And so if you could do anything, help, do it. Tell your friends. Uh, your neighbors, uh, call them, put in your social network, ask them to join. It's it's a good cause. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing this, you know. Definitely. And you can find us on Instagram, on Facebook, at Co-op Kids. Share the flyer, get the word out, spread the word. We'd be super, super appreciative. Yeah, you, when you type Co-op, you know, like uh, C-O-A-F, on the Google, definitely you will get something. You get their website, your name. So I didn't know what Kawaf. I thought there was some version of coffee, you know. But uh, and then I find out. Uh, yeah. So it's a children. What is it? Children of Armenia Fund. That's yeah. What it's there, there. there you go. Okay. So so we'll see you. We have uh, lots of stuff coming, and uh, so we'll see you in in next episode. Have a nice day. Enjoy your. Um, day, evening, whatever you live, you know. So we'll see you soon.